Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome to the first episode of my RPG series. I'm really excited to make this journey with you and hopefully a lot of great learning will be done. Before we start though, I want to take a moment to clarify some things for those wondering. Some of you are probably wondering if this will be a C++ project, a blueprint only project or a combination of both. The answer to that is that this will be a blueprints only project. There are for sure some things that could be done more cleanly in C++, but it's not too bad in blueprints in my opinion. Having it in pure blueprints, however, will allow it to be more attainable for more people to follow along, and that is a good thing in my book. Another thing that probably some of you are thinking about is if we will be using gameplay ability system, in, or GAS in short, for this project. Uh, the answer to this is no. We will be creating our own framework and ability system from scratch, but it does take some inspiration from GAS. This inspiration is mainly for using gameplay tags to drive certain conditions. In addition to that, one of the systems we will be creating will also be taking inspiration from something Tom Luman mentioned when he was on stream with Epic. He mentioned a way he approached having attributes affected by effects in certain ways, and I really like that approach. Lastly, the system will take inspiration from many of my other tutorials and projects I have done in the past. Hopefully this framework of varied inspiration will prove both a great learning experience for some and a great foundation to build upon further for others. With that out of the way, let's get started. So what we will be doing today is we will be starting to prepare our project for the upcoming episodes. So what we have here today is a third person template project. Standard project, no starter content or anything like that. And we're currently using the version 4.26.2, no, 4.26 something, I don't know. Um, it should be fine in 4.27 and in Unreal Engine 5 as well. Uh, there might be some differences. Uh, so if you want to have the best and easiest way to follow along, you probably should try and use uh, 4.26. But if you're acquainted with both of the other versions, you should be fine to uh, handle those and follow along with the tutorial series. So what we will start off doing is we will click over here to get a better view. I tend to like to work in this manner. And what we're going to start off doing is we're going to create a folder. We're going to be calling this uh, RPG simply for our RPG system. And in this we want to create another folder. And this one we want to call characters. Since we will be having some characters later down the line, uh, this will be the place that we will store them. And we will be expand ex sorry, expanding our catalog structure as we go along and add more systems and more assets to make use of. Um, to start off with, we want to have our mannequin. We have our mannequin in, uh, let's see... Here we have the skeleton, and I actually want to bring this over to our character folder. So let's move, let's actually take all of these, move them to characters, so that that's where we will be placing that. And in addition to that, we'll go and rename the character, or the skeleton, sorry, to UE4 main mannequin skeleton and the reason for this is simply that uh, we will be importing assets later on uh, down the road for this project and many of them will have a skeleton in it already which will be named the same thing so just to make it easier for us to distinguish them in lists if we want to make use of them we'll have this skeleton as our main mannequin skeleton so we know which one we're actually using as our reference in addition, you might have other projects that you will be importing and be using, so you could make use of that for the same reason. Or it might be that you don't want to make use of this skeleton at all and want to change it later on, or for something completely different that you have in um, the form of assets. That's completely fine as well. But 
following this tutorial for now, this is what we will be doing until we get to the point of the end of the tutorial. Moving on from there, let's see if we have here, we have our third person character, our blueprint for that. We will move that over to our characters folder as well. Click move and we have our map here, which is our starting map. And that is, let's create a map folder as well, just so we have one. Could have chosen to call it levels, of course. Uh, we'll take the build data just because it has one and bring all of it over here as well. Uh, the game mode we can leave for now, I think. Actually, let's be good and take that as well. So we'll call this modes. And that's where we'll be placing everything related to such things. Uh, like so. Move here. And... We have some animations here as well for our character. Let's... Hmm. Let's keep them where they are for now. Anyway, since we now have moved all of our stuff, or most at least, to the RPG folder, what we want to do is we want to save everything. We right click on content and we choose fix up redirectors in folders. What this does is uh, when you're moving around, sometimes files can uh, decide that they don't want to be moved because they're in use and such. And instead, uh, Unreal will put up like redirectors saying that this file is actually over here. And in that case, it actually sort of exists in two places at, at the same time. And fixing up our redirectors will allow us to sort of update the situation to its most, most current one which will also clear things up so we can, for example, get rid of all of this folder over here. And the third person folder here has some meshes. We can leave those. The mannequin has the animations. We have some geometry over here. That's fine for now. We can delete those later. That will be enough for that. So now we have mainly the the main structure of where we want to be creating our assets moving on forward and i think that is a good place to stop for now hope to see you in the next episode hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care